All right, welcome everyone. Today we're gonna be starting starting to create the biggest asset pack for Unity, or the biggest uh, weapon pack for Unity. Uh, that's not gonna be free. Uh, we're gonna have thousands of different swords and blades and axes and spears. We're gonna have so many different different weapons for you to choose from. For you, for you to choose from. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. So I wanna walk you through the process of how we do it, why we do it, and and a little bit show off how it looks as well. Uh, this is gonna be the part one. Uh, not sure how many parts are gonna be, but I'm not gonna fit everything in 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 one one video. The first thing that I'm gonna do is create a a a, a couple of of hilts and blades uh, and handles for the swords just to get the the style and and the concept uh, of the pack correctly. You can see here in the background that we are creating so many different different like types of weapons, and I'm using quite a different. Uh, version and the, the thing is, I want to have a lot of a lot of different uh, weapon types, a lot of different styles in this pack, because uh, I want it to be very very versatile. But I also want every blade and every weapon and every hammer and every axe to act as they are in the same universe. So uh, I'm gonna go with this this little uh, kind of fantasy style, but not too much fantasy. Uh, it's gonna be quite quite limited in in the styles, but it's still gonna be. Um, a little over the top, a little, little extra, um, just to get the uh, like the low poly look looks so much better if you do it a little bit, uh, a little bit extra. And after we created a couple of blades, we're also gonna now we're gonna create the handles. And you can see I'm I'm not, I'm not a great uh, I'm not a great concept for for handles. I'm not a, I'm not a, a a blacksmith in any way. Um, so I actually have a little bit of a trouble, uh, especially when just doing them in, in in the gray. Just to, to get the the nice uh, handles correctly, but eventually turned turned out quite nice, um, and in the end, I'm I'm quite happy with the results that we got from that. And as you can see, we're also doing quite a different style, a lot of different styles. We go into some to some of the um, uh, Oriental styles as well with the blades and the hilts, um, just so we can get this this versatile pack that can be used for. Well, almost any any kind of medieval fantasy game, and you can also you can also see like the workflow that I'm using. I'm using a lot of like simple boxes, um, just a simple a lot of simple uh, styles, and I'm also reusing a lot of assets. Just taking a a previous hilt or a previous um, uh, handle and just like redesigning it a little bit, changing it changing it up so you, you can get you have the same handle but you have like different versions of it, different styles in it. Um, Maybe one one-handed version, maybe one two-handed version, and and a lot of that. Just you can get even more uh, versatile in 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 the pack. And the handles, I will say, it was a lot easier to create the handles than it was to create the hilts. Because uh, handles, once I I created a couple, I really got the hang of what I wanted and how I wanted it. And it was so easy, just honestly, just pump out uh, a couple of them and just um, do a little do something with them and the best thing is I'm I'm gonna be making tons and tons of more handles because I wanna have a lot of, of like I don't know what to call them in the in the in the bottom of the sword but I wanna have a lot of them and a lot of like nice ones. And how we created the textures is also really simple. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this but you basically just create a, a couple of colors. Uh you can be squares, can be circles, it doesn't really matter but squares are easier. Um uh, and just Fill in the colors that you want. So I'm gonna go. You can see here. I got some metal colors. I got some brownish colors. Uh, I got even got a white color. And just created a couple of colors. Um, that I then when I when I texture your sword, I pretty much just take the faces that I wanna have in that color, select them and put them in that uh, colored area. So I put in like the grayest, the gray, and then a little you lighter gray on the edges. Um, same here. I put in in the red first and. I think I'm gonna change it up to to a little tealish color later on. And here, I select like all the metal parts, put them into the metal area, and then the brown is put in some brown there. Real simple way to texture, and if you're doing a low poly style, I'd really recommend this because you you get away from with. I hate Uber maps. I really hate Uber maps. It's like the most boring part of modeling there is. And by doing this style, you get so much more like time to actually do the modeling and actually do some concepts. Instead of <laughs> instead of doing the boring texturing part, so you can see I'm just quickly pumping out tons and tons of, of swords now, texturing 
I'm also changing a lot of the previous assets up because I have now I have that I have the style that I want. Uh, I'm changing it up so that a lot of swords look a lot better, um, look more complete. Um, and I'm doing taking the, the the previous concepts that I liked and just pumping out tons of them. And once I've done a couple of these, uh, I'm actually gonna like every every sword in the background is gonna get removed later on because I'm not gonna use them at all. I'm just gonna use these colored versions, and uh, so pretty much just take. I said I just take whatever concept I like, put it in here, and change it up so that I like it, uh, and that it, so it actually looks good. No, but al what also want to create with this is as you can see in the background now the the big cluster of of swords is that I want to create this really versatile pack so like every every handle can be used with every blade and every every hilt can be used with everything and like all the assets all the all the compound all the components are gonna fit together and they're gonna work sure some some having an, an oriental blade and a and a like really fancy European handle sh maybe look weird but it's still gonna it's still gonna fit it's still gonna look correctly Correct, and and that 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 makes a difference. I think I think that's that that makes us able to create these thousands and thousands of swords uh, and axes and and spears and everything that we want quite in an easy way. As I talked about previously, uh, when it comes to texturing, we just take the faces. Here you can see how it works. You take the blue faces, you just put them into the blue. You take the gray faces, you just put them into the gray. Uh, really simple, really efficient. Sp saves so much time. I really recommend using this style. Uh, for any concepts that you do in the future, future. Um, we, I also made a script in Unity that randomizes all this. Um, yes, because I'm not gonna sit around and and create all these prefabs by myself. So, once we get to Unity, it's gonna be so easy to just test everything out, see what works, see what doesn't. Uh, and what I also did now is that I I I took all the swords, put them in the middle, all the all the components. And just centralized so that all have the same uh, pivot point. So that when you are in Unity, like all you have to do is drag in, drop and drag on the same game object, and you still get like the same. So they all perfectly fit together. Instead of having to scale them and, and drag them and everything, they all just directly fit to each other. Um, so in Unity, you save so much time. We're gonna go into Unity. We're gonna show off a couple of swords. Uh, and some styles, and you can see here we get we already got so many different different versions of the say of the swords, and some look amazing, some look okay, but I'm not happy yet. We're gonna do some axes as well in this video, uh, and the axes is a little bit simpler because you only have two components, and well, <laughs> honestly, two components is it's so much easier to have two components than just having and having three. So we the same here. We're gonna start with just doing tons and tons of. Of, of blades uh, or hill, uh, heads uh, and tons and tons of, of uh, hand handles or staffs. I don't, I don't know what it's called. But, um, I just do the same process as we did with the swords. But thankfully here, we already have, well, I already have the concepts in my head how I want everything to look. So I don't have to do that concepting part anymore. So I can just go directly into creating uh, the assets that I like, the assets that I want and I so I use the same color scheme. Uh, I changed it up. A, I added some more colors just to get these, these uh, leather leather bits on on the wood as well. Um, so you can get like this more reddish handle color uh, for the for them. Uh, as well as added a little bit better wood texture. Uh, so you can see right here I added another template below as well. And I use the same metal texture as well on this as I did on previous ones because I want as I said. Previously, I want all the uh, swords to look like they are from the same universe, using the same like metal and the same uh, color schemes. Uh, makes a big difference here. And for the axes, I also want to create like these, these uh, not, not axes but maces kind of that fits uh, on the same uh, heads, because then we get like the, the so much more variation as well. So you can have warhammers, you can have axes, you can have maces, you can have everything in the same uh, that you want and they all fit perfect together. And now we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the swords, just put them all together in a big pile of mess. 
um, so we can see that they all work and all fit together. So some have to scale up and some have to scale down and some have to move a little bit. But once I've done this, uh, it's so easy to see that they all work together and they all fit together without any problems. And you can also, as I said, centralize the pivot point so easy. Uh, so back in Unity, I said I created this script. Say so we have a sword and an axe, and we're just gonna keep randomizing. You can see that we already have so many different assets, so many different swords, so many different different versions of the axe as well. Um, and they all look quite nice. There are some uh, bugs, especially with the sword, you have to figure out. Some hilts need to be lowered a little bit and things like that. But generally, it, it already looks quite nice from just one day of work. Uh, and I think at this point, we now have close to close to 3,000 versions. But as you also can see, we have this amazing sword. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe for part two. And if you're interested in knowing when the pack is released. Also, if you're interested in the game that we're making, follow us on Twitter. Link is in the description.